sixth edition of CNU TV, your only source for video news on campus. I'm Jillian Hooper. And I'm Paula Bruzzo. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we'll be bringing you the latest news, sports, and arts and entertainment. But first, in university news, CNU is setting the stage for a new student assembly, a student-run government association that will take the place of the failed SGA. A new student constitution has already been authored and is available to the public at studentassembly.net. The new student assembly sets to dispel the rumors of the old SGA and put more tangible services into the hands of students. For more information, check out the full article in the captain's log. But also in CNU news, have you heard the rumors about the bookstore being bought out? Contrary to rumors spreading around campus, the bookstore is not being bought out at this moment. If you want to know more about this story, check out the full article in the captain's log. Now let's head over to the weather desk to see what's our, what lies ahead for our weekly forecast. How's the weather looking, John? It's looking to be getting colder and colder, Jillian. I'm John Faust here with your weather. Let's take a look at the Doppler. Uh, heavy rain coming in towards Virginia for most of today. The chance of a significant coastal storm is up and the rain itself is expected to stay here for a couple of days. Might want to be careful and be sure to bring an umbrella or raincoat and stay dry this week. Furthermore, the next three days call for the chance of increased coastal flooding, so be cautious. Now let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Friday, high of 59 and a low of 54 with heavy wind and rain. Saturday, very cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 53. Sunday, partly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 49. Monday, cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 47. And Tuesday, expected to be partly cloudy with a high of 62. Looks to me like it's going to be a rather dreary week. Back to Paul and Jillian in the studio. Thanks, John. Looks like we'll need to break out those raincoats and umbrellas. That's right. Good call, Jillian. On another note, what's been going on in the CNU sports world, Cassie? It was a good weekend for CNU sports. I'm Cassandra Vinch here with your CNU sports update. The CNU football team unfortunately lost their last regular season home game this past Saturday as they took on Maryville College at Pomoco Stadium. The captains had the lead 14-7 going into halftime, but the Scots were able to rally in the second half on two touchdowns to give our team the loss. The captains will not see the postseason this year, but they do get to play one last time this season as they take play on the road to Methodist University this weekend. This past weekend, the women's soccer team finished out their season strong as they defeated Methodist University 2-1, giving them not only the USA South Championship title, but an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. The men's soccer team won this past weekend as well in a dramatic fashion, as they took the victory 2-1 over North Carolina Wesleyan on penalty kicks after an overtime tie of 1-1. The captains outshot NC Wesleyan 16-10 as their goalie, Justin Wolf had seven saves and took home the MVP honors for that game. The volleyball team here at CNU has had a successful weekend. CNU TV's own Seth Wagner was there to explain what happened. Christopher Newport Volleyball had a fantastic weekend at the Freeman Center. Our captain ladies were ranked as the number one seed heading into the USA South Conference Tournament. Friday night was the semifinal match against Methodist University, in which the captains won three games to zero. The win set CNU up for its third straight conference championship the next day against North Carolina Wesleyan, whom they beat, again by the score of three games to none. CNU junior Caitlin Jansen led the captains and was named MVP of the tournament. Also noted were Jesse Heavenrich, Chelsea McClure, and Corey Harris, who made the all-tournament team. The volleyball team will now travel to New York City for the NCAA regional play with a record of 33 wins and 6 losses. I'm Seth Wagner for CNU TV. Thanks, Seth, for giving us that inside look. It's that time of the year again. NCAA play has begun, and the captains need you to come out and show your support. The men's soccer team is hosting round one and two of the tournament. That game will take on the winner of Catholic vs. Lynchburg on Sunday at 6 for a place in the Sweet 16. The women's soccer team will be traveling to Washington and Lee as they take on the Generals this weekend in hopes to advance to the next round. All facts and information are provided by CNUsports.com. Be sure to check out all the games this weekend. That wraps it up over here in the sports world. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cassie. It's always good to keep up with CNU Sports. Now let's find out what's been going on lately with our arts and entertainment anchor, Katie. There are always entertaining events going on at CNU, Jillian. Bringing you your arts and entertainment news, I'm Katie Harden. Theater CNU's most recent production, Don't Dress for Dinner, addresses the hardships of relationships and complications that arise when multiple relationships come into the picture. 
Set in a town two hours away from Paris in 1960, Don't Dress for Dinner is a comedic account of a romantic weekend gone wrong. Be sure to check it out. This week's Word on the Street had to deal with final exams coming up. Let's see what CNU students were doing to prepare for them. Not really doing anything, uh, just hanging out a lot. For favorite finals, it's best to get a lot of water and a lot of sleep. How I prepare for finals is that whether the class gives us a study guide or not, I make one. I'm getting a lot of sleep um, to prepare for finals. I'm also spending a lot of time in the library. I assume that eventually I'll start studying by perhaps making notes and reviewing them. So definitely just get a lot of sleep and spend a lot of time in the library with no distractions. I tend to study pretty much just the week before. My, that, that Wednesday off is usually saving grace for the second half of the week. <laughs> but uh, I Study hard and good luck. Well, that's it for Arts and Entertainment. Back to you in the studio. Thanks a lot, Katie. Well, that about does it for this episode of CNU TV. I'm Paula Bruzzo. And I'm Jillian Hooper. For more information on any of the stories seen here today, check out the weekly issue of The Captain's Log. Stay tuned for our next broadcast on November 18th.